Indians. Thanks for joining me. I was just thinking about a conversation I had with the Ant Man at the studio here years ago. He told me about he had heard that someone had took a snare drum sample and played it back into a snare drum and re recorded it. And that just sounds crazy, and I'm not entirely sure if that actually was a real conversation we had, but it popped in my head and I have nothing else to do today, so <laughs> let's try it. Sitting right. If I use a shelving EQ, maybe I just need to start over. Okay, so what exactly is a snare drum? Let's take a close look. The main components are the hard shell on the outside with a top thin membrane and a lower thin membrane. A signature sound that makes this different from other drums can be found on the bottom. These strands, which can be made of metal, gut, nylon, or other materials, are called snares, and they are what makes the snare drum sound like a snare drum. You can actually turn these snares off, and now it sounds more like a traditional tom drum. Because the snare drum is so important, so recognizable, and really stands out in the mix, a lot of engineers spend a lot of time trying to manipulate and change the snare sound so that it fits in the mix. Honestly, that's 90% of mixing is making the sounds fit and sound good. But I'd say we said you should make that up too. So that's why this idea kind of intrigued me. Because maybe now I can take a snare drum sound that I like and manipulate it in a new and different way and bring new life into the project and I don't know, get some sleep. Snare drums come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, all producing slightly different sounds, but still retaining that general snare snappiness. First thing I need to do is to capture a snare drum sound so that I can take that and put it back on the snare drum. So real quickly, I'm going to set up a snare drum in the room and we're going to record it. I'm going to record it the most common way we do record a snare drum here at Firecase Studios, and that is using an Audix i7 on the top and a short SM57 on the bottom. The top will be going through our custom built DIY RE CP5 preamp, and the bottom will be going through a E511 500 series preamp. I won't be doing any other processing other than that. I'm trying to keep it the natural drum sound. That way I can really see how we're going to manipulate it later. Okay, now that we have our sound, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one of our monitors here in the control room and actually place it on top of the snare drum, speaker facing down. I'm going to leave the same microphone set up on the drum that we used to capture the sound in the first place. And then I'm going to play that sound we made earlier through the speaker going to play literally into the drum, and then we're going to record that and see what it sounds like. Just so you know, and you're not confused, a term used for a fancy speaker used in the studio is a monitor, not to be confused with the video monitor. I know it can be a little confusing if you've never heard of that term used in that way before, so let's pull out that monitor. Okay, just have to get back here. Unplug, unhook, and right. 
like this thing has moved in eight years. Ooh. Hey, guy. A little bit of dust on top there. on the snare, so that's not gonna work. Hmm, on the snare. No, because it won't, won't vibrate. Okay, so it has to be above the snare. Shit. No, that won't work. All right, put something on it. Those roll, yeah, that'd be bad. Uh, these guys, because these don't roll, right? Sure. Yep. Okay. All right. So I really hope the conversation doesn't go like, hey, Andy, remember that trick about putting a speaker on a snare? Well, I tried it, and uh, we need to buy a new speaker. Oh, just a little bit. Actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Just gotta, you know, plug it in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> gotta convert. Alright, let's get my box. Fun stuff here. Wait, upside down. Alright, we'll get there someday. Oh, gender changer. Now she'll fit. Was that a he? Hmm. Topic for another video. Bam! Power! Not quite long enough. Power. Nah, we're rocking. When I hit play, I should hear something out there, and I do not. Let's double check that. I do not hear anything. <laughs> That's not on. That would do it. <laughs> you know, if the speaker wasn't upside down, I'd be able to tell if the light was on. Oh, I can see the glow. See the glow? You see the glow. On. Off. On. Back over here. Okay. So we got the snare sample going out to 11. Zook. Zook. Out of 11 into four, which then is that little gray wire you see out there. So when I hit play, we should hear. <laughs> hey! <laughs> cool.
singing into a snare drum. Mom is an we